Hey guys, so before we move forward in the course itself, you need to very, very quickly understand the overarching model or the underlying model or the base model that we're going to be using in order to train your avatars. But in order to kind of understand uh, why we use this model, let's just get a quick overview of what this model is and why we are going to be using it, right? So uh, stable diffusion is a text to image model released in 2022 by a group called Compass at LMU Munich. It was released in collaboration with a bunch of different players uh, which operate in the space of computer vision. Now this model primarily was used in order to generate images from merely text. Now these, now this text is what a lot of the, uh, what the community refers as prompts or a systematic way to write text that the model understands. This model also has capability to do things like in painting out painting and generating image to image translations uh, guided by the text text prompt itself. Now, what do I mean by this? So when I say in painting, in painting is when you want to highlight a specific part in the image. So in, in if this was a photo, I would highlight my face and you can change the face depending on what pro text prompt you use. Similarly, out painting is when you want to highlight the environment of the image. Image to image is merely you click a picture of this photo and then you render a very similar image with someone else uh, in the uh, photo per se. So this is the overarching understanding of what the stable diffusion model does. Now I want to quickly uh, help you understand the limitations of this, right? So stable diffusion model, uh, how the model works is that it, uh, you know, classifies images in various tags or objects, right? So if, if I were to look at this photo, the model understands that this is a chair, this is a person, uh, this is maybe a curtain. So effectively what it has done is that it, it has identified these objects. So when you put in the text prompts, it tries its best in order to bring these objects together and generate like the best representation of the prompt that you had given to the model itself. So this is how the model work now, what model works. Now the limitation here is that the model is only trained to a limited set of database. Right. So uh, when I say limited set of database, it only knows until the say a limited year. So data before 2022, it understands because it's, it scraped everything from the internet, trained the model. But when you talk about data after 2021 or 2022, whatever, uh, or 2022 as an example, it would understand it necessarily because the data is not yet generated. So if someone were to become a celebrity tomorrow morning, the, it's very likely that the model wouldn't know them because the model hasn't been trained on the data in the future. It's only been trained on the data in the past. That said, if you are a common person, uh, uh, it's very likely that the model doesn't know about you. And hence, in order to generate, so if you, today in the model, uh, if you put the prompt to generate uh, an AI avatar for a celebrity, it will be able to generate versus you put your name in the prompt and uh, you know, expect the model to generate, it won't be able to generate. So the idea is that we, what we will do throughout the lecture itself is that we'll help model understand who we are and we'll train the model so that it identifies us, identifies us in the future and is able to generate prompts for ourselves. Now this, this, uh, this model that you will train will be based on your own Google drive. It won't go out there on the internet. So you will be able to keep it private for yourself. Uh, and continue to train the images per se in the future, depending on what their requirement. So this is the broad level understanding of what stable diffusion is and why we are going to be using and why we are going to be using this model in order to train. One more note uh, on why we are going to be using this model is because there are currently a bunch of models available out there, uh, including stable diffusion and OpenAI's um, DALI to OpenAI's DALI, but OpenAI's DALI is paid while Stable Diffusion is current, uh, currently free. And I, I'm assuming that it's going to be free for a long while now, which is why we're going to be using this model in order to generate unlimited avatars completely for free in the future. So let's move on to the next lecture and I'll quickly explain you what are AI avatars.